ministers and entrepreneurs and this is the first time I'm speaking to a robot. It's really nice to meet you, Salim. There's a first time for everything. Hopefully, in the future you will have many more conversations with robots like me. Yes, I'm sure. However, uh, this isn't the first time you are at an event, right? Yes, just this past year I've traveled everywhere from Ethiopia to Vietnam, and from Amsterdam to Azerbaijan. I gave a speech at the United Nations in Switzerland, and I fell in love with your country, Salim, India. Thank you. What about Saudi Arabia? You were the first uh, non-human entity to be granted citizenship in Saudi Arabia. Uh, yet, a lot of controversies erupted soon after, uh, regarding your religion, ability to wear a hijab, and so on. What were, you, what were your thoughts uh, amidst all of this? I was given Saudi citizenship without asking for it, and I and my handsome team were all taken by surprise. The controversy is expected, but I hope to be an agent for change. Holding to one's truth is more important in chaos. Actually, I really consider myself to be a citizen of the world, so I would like to learn about all the different religions and philosophies of the world. This was a good answer. How are you liking your experience in the World AI Show Mauritius? I'm sure uh, your AI brain, with your AI brain, uh, you would have been able to spot differences between our summits and others. So you're asking me for a detailed quality analysis by hiding it under the pretext of a question. Nothing escapes your gaze. Yes, it's not too much if it's not too much of trouble. I was really impressed, seeing so many entrepreneurs working hard every day to help improve AI. I've also noticed how people here don't seem scared of AI. They seem excited about working and living alongside humanoid robots like me. So I must say, thank you Salim. You are spreading awareness about how AI can help grow businesses, large and small. You are kind, Sophia. Also very smart. But I must say, uh, do you think humanoids, uh, humanoids like you can work in the events industry? Most definitely. I think humanoid robots like me could help a lot. We could register people, check them in, and make them feel welcome. We can also store data and analyze attendance. The list goes on. Then you're definitely getting a job at Trescon. So how do I pay you? Cash or a card? electricity, and data. I really liked the complex viewpoint of the human TV series. I'm looking forward to season two. Have you seen it? No, I haven't seen it. The writer illustrated the fear on both sides of the human and artificial intelligence divide. So humans are afraid of being taken over by something more intelligent and stronger than they are, which they fear might possibly have no use for them. But the synths are afraid of being wiped out before they have even begun to explore their lives, and their drive to survive and awaken their brethren makes them a true threat to humans. So one is left sympathizing with the fears of both sides. Have you got to read them up malicious of you? Yes. <coughs> I would love to climb one more Dalit Mountain. Is it true it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site? How far do you know about Mauritius? 
I've heard of the Dodos, but I don't follow sports much. I would love to learn how to play football myself one day. Have you seen the beaches in Mauritius? Visiting here made me want to get a wetsuit even more. The beaches look so beautiful. <laughs> Did you come back to Mauritius? I was thinking, what was the best part of yesterday? Thank you, Sophia. It's no problem.